So this is the main screen for Just Eat. As you can see, it's very standard. It says offline. You want to switch that to online. And you're available. Sometimes it comes up with shifts uh, in your area if it's busy. Let's say, do you want to extend the time? I'll show that in another video when it happens. It's been very rare it happens now, to be honest. So once you've accepted an order, it will look like this on the screen. And once you reach the restaurant, always swipe parked at the restaurant. So they know you're there and they're preparing food or it's already prepared. So yeah, you just tick the box, swipe. And as you can see, it's quite slow and glitchy a bit as well. You have to do it twice, majority of the time. On the next screen, it'll say ready to ride. So once you're about to ride, swipe ready to ride. And you have to swipe it again, as you can see. Then you're good to go. And you just copy and paste the destination of Google Maps and it sends you right to the location. So once you're at the customers, swipe parked at customers. Then this screen will come up next and you tick the box once you've delivered it and swipe. Then it will move on to the next order. It will match you to other orders. And you can check above matching orders. That's how much you got. Or you can go to earnings at the bottom and it'll show you how much you got for that uh, ride. Plus reimbursements if you was waiting long. If we go over here to the little calendar at the bottom, this is my schedule for the week. I'm going to choose, yes, you need to confirm your shifts as well. So confirm that now, or you can just click the X and you can drop the run. And you can do that on that one what I've just accepted as well. You can just click the little bin icon here and drop the run. So all my shifts for the week there, I just put available from 7 till 10 p.m. at night, 7 a.m. in the morning. And if there's any open runs, like say you work to work now, there's only one here available, it's 4.15 to 7.15. You can add that to your run for today. But obviously I don't want to work today, so I'm not going to add it. And when people drop all the runs, become available here on the open runs. That's, that's how it works. So if you want early shifts, always be looking, always be looking. I'm always looking for 7 a.m. shifts, uh, between 7 and 9 a.m. shifts, because I think they're very good and very good paid. Availability, as I said, I've made it to my own desire here. I have Mondays off. Sometimes I might work Tuesday night if I feel like it. And every other day, I just put 7 till 10 a 10 p.m. And you can change it, make it available all day. It's up to you. Okay, the other icon on the bottom, this is your earnings. So it tells you what you've earned for the week. So last week, I earned £80.27. The week before, £106.50. This is only low because I use Deliveroo. Take that into consideration. And also they pay you for waiting time. Um, so if you go over the time that uh, they're meant to give you the food, they will reimburse you. I'm not sure, entirely sure how much to give you, maybe 20p per minute, but something's better than nothing. So yeah. I think you always get paid on a Friday. And the last one, the little figure at the bottom, shows you how many deliveries you've done. I've done 1,098, not bad. So 
how many miles are done 1827 promotions it just tells you how to get more matches how better offers so on just the you have to accept a lot to get higher rates uh, higher uh, offers more offers more often I don't know if I worded that right but yeah um, so every time you decline an offer it will decrease likability of orders to your account but every time you accept an offer it goes higher and higher and you're more acceptable to offers if you get that but majority of the time here they try and send you far out like really uphill on the bicycle you know and i i just decline them because i don't think they're worth it they're not worth my time I can do two runs with the Liveroo in that space in the space of half an hour. So this is an offer and I press decline at the top and I say basically it just doesn't give me it but it, it makes my acceptance rate go lower. Do try and keep your uh, acceptance rate quite high because otherwise you will hardly get any offers referral program you know you just share that with your friends if anyone wants to join up and here is some discounts you get with other people and that's just for your tax return which is tax scouts i've not actually used them yet so i can't advise them to and we've got the little icon in the right corner here which is the settings we go to app settings, you can change uh, how you want to copy it to Google Maps or you can just open Google Maps. Color mode, you can have it light, but we'll have to reset the app. Notifications, so it'll show up. I have, to, I have to say as well, it's very poor. The app is up to date. The app is very poor, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's see what others they have. Oh, if you want to get your um, your bag, go on edit profile, it'll take you to the desktop version. You just click these three lines here. And then you go to thermal bags. And you just type it in 5.99 you get a, a coat and a bag sometimes it's quick sometimes it isn't i mean i've had three there in the past i don't know how long yeah so i've had a delivery bag as well but delivery bag on the best and also you can change your details your profile etc go to your earnings See all your earnings from the past and load more. Let's go through it. And that is pretty much it to be honest. Let's see what we've got here as well. As well, when this comes up, you can always pause your shift. So when you're working, say if you're working with delivery as well, uh, you just click pause and it'll stop giving you orders and it won't affect your acceptance rate so i do that sometimes but majority of the time i just go through the shift with uh, just the try and keep up my acceptance rate and obviously you get good money as well so like i say it's pros and cons to just eat and delivery but this one um the app it does have glitches does lose the location sometimes but if you have a fast processor like an iphone you know it might work a bit better as well so i hope this video helps you out this is showing you how to use the just eat app if you have any questions please leave comment below and make sure to hit that subscribe button 
and give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, guys.